Hi Blender community, can we create a playable game just using Blender physics? No coding, no add-on? And the answer is yes. You hit the space bar and the game begins. I made this game inside Blender. The goal of this game is carefully balance this ball with this controller and going around these obstacles, you have to put ball inside that exit hole in a limited time. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a game just using some creative approach with rigid bodies. We are playing this game all in real time. This ball is not keyframed and the best part is you can design your own game however you like. Alright, let's get dive in. First in this simple example, we have active rigid body and passive rigid body. If I hit play now, the ball hits the ground. But if I try to move the ground, the ball does not respond to the ground position. Why? Well, because the position of the object is not being calculated in every frame. We have to set this passive body to animated one here. So we can rotate this in real time. Perfect. Next, if we create a hole in this ground, the ball does not fall into because Blender treats every object as a low poly convex mesh without any hole and crevices. This is to make simulation faster. We need to select mesh as a shape collusion. Now ball will fall into hole. With these settings understood, let's start modeling our game puzzle. To create wall, I just started extruding straight edges. Just extrude it in Z direction and apply a solidify modifier to create walls. I took a plane and scale it to fit as a floor and adding some edge loops where I need to make holes. Just make sure the ball fits inside these holes and you are good to go. Ok, let's build some obstacles. I'm making a rotating block that constantly rotating throughout the gameplay. One more rotating obstacle placing near the exit hole. It will be rotating left to right. Here we have a freedom to design our own game. I'm just making one more hole where the ball has to pass on it and place a box that will move up and down. Now we want these obstacles to stay attached when we will be moving the ground plane. But unfortunately, if we set this as a child to parent relation with control P, then we just can't make this obstacle as passive rigid body and Blender gives an error message that we can't set child as a rigid body. Rather than, I used copy transform constraint. Basically, it will take all transformation from ground plane and act just like child and parent relationship. We can animate this obstacle by typing hashtag frame in any axis. So it will be rotating continuously throughout the simulation play. Now we need a controller just like this. So we can grab this and balance our ball more precisely. To make this, create two planes of this shape. We set inner plane as a child object of outer plane. We control P and just place this near to camera. So it's always in front of camera and easier to grab. Now we create an icosphere and place it fairly above the ground plane. Now we are gonna put a damped constraint on ground plane and set as a target this icosphere. So that whenever we move sphere, this ground plane is always facing to this icosphere. Now we need to connect our controller to this icosphere. To do so, we will use copy location constraint on icosphere and set controller as a target. Don't forget to choose local space on both. By this way, whenever we will move this controller plane, the icosphere will move, so as rotating the ground plane. We also want to limit that distance what controller plane moves by using limit location constraint. This will help us to restrict the position range within 1 meter distance in x and y direction. Finally, set everything as passive rigid body with animator checked on and only the main ball will be an active rigid body. And here we go with some basic shading and lighting. Finally, you can enjoy by playing your own game. I designed my own, you can design yours in your own style. Make your own obstacle, make some more creative obstacles and different difficulty level. I mean seriously, possibilities are endless. Of course, you can download this blend file and enjoy it. Link in the description. Alright, see you soon with more innovative tutorial. Bye-bye.